G'day guys, Stevie from TKO Fight Sports. I'm here at the Hardcore Promotions weigh-in. Tomorrow night, the fights start at 7 p.m. at Ultima Function Centre in Keelor. Let's get some interviews underway. G'day Reef. tomorrow night, mate, you're gonna be fighting for the uh, WMC title. How's your preparation been so far for all this? i um, been training really hard, uh, six weeks. Um, I've taken a lot of time off work for this fight, so I've put the hard yards in, so hopefully it's gonna pay off. And yeah, training camp's gone well. Any really hiccups? Well, really well. Um, probably my best camp yet. I mean, it's cliche to say, but I honestly feel the fittest I've ever been. So you, on the show. you made weight easy? Easy, yeah. Easiest weight cut. Probably because I trained so hard, so lost a bit of the baby fat, so yeah, ready. <laughs> and what can we expect from you tomorrow night, mate? Um, I've got a lot of the boys coming down, so hopefully put on a show. So hopefully it'll be a good fight. And do you know much about your opponent? Um, he's a, he's, he'll be a tough fight. I'm expecting it a hard fight, so that's why I think it'll be a good fight. It'll be a good show. Got any messages for the man? Um, I'll see you tomorrow, brother. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Too much of a gentleman, mate. Here with the big man, Sam Cassidy himself. Tomorrow night he fights uh, David Tuitupo in what is going to be a super heavyweight match. How's your preparation going? I know you spoke about it already on one of our shows, but um, tell us about the weight cut, how it's gone, and how your preparation's been. Uh, the, the weight cut was awesome. Um, we had a feed on the way here, so we were lucky we didn't have to cut any weight. But, you know, feel a bit sorry eating food when the boys out here are cutting down to 65, stuff like that. But apart from that, training's been going really well and keeping fit. feel like the cardio is really, really, really high at the moment. So feeling good. Tomorrow night, can we expect some serious action in the ring? What, what's, your, what's your plan of action here? I hope so. Otherwise, we're in there for no reason. We're there. We're both here. We both know what we're doing. Um, we've got a good credentialed fighter for myself to try and test myself against. So really looking forward to the test. Full more tie rules, yeah. Um, what are we going to expect more from you? Elbows, clinch, where are we going? Oh, we'll go a bit of everything, you know. Try and put on a nice show, put on some nice technique for everyone. Kind of make a bit of a judgment after we get through, hopefully get through the first round, and then go on from there. Now, I know David's in the room, but um, straight down the camera, you got a message for the man? Nah, let's just put on a good show, mate, and have a good fight, and may the best man win. Beautiful. Good luck tomorrow, mate. Fun. We are here with a six foot nine giant, straight out of Auckland, out of the ETK gym. Tomorrow night you're taking on the Australian Sam Cassidy, mate, for uh, the super heavyweight. How's that uh, pan and athlete? How was your weight cut? How are you feeling? Uh, weight cut wasn't not too good. <laughs> I guess the diet wasn't that, that good, but um, training went well, trained hard, so yeah, ready. The um, full Muay Thai rules, is this the sort of code you normally fight at, or do you do anything else? Uh, I've had a couple of Muay Thai fights, but um, yeah, no, nah, no, not really. Mostly K1, so yeah, looking forward to it. So we're going to see a few flying elbows, some knee kicks tomorrow night. What's what's your what's your plan of action? Uh, just get in there, go hard, man. You know? Yeah. Um, so I know the the big man himself. Well, actually, in your case, we'll say small man himself is in the ring here, so in the room here somewhere. You got a message for Sam? Uh, I'm looking forward to sharing the ring with um, the man himself. So yeah, see, see him tomorrow. At least you two must be the most politest and nicest super heavyweight fighters I come across. Not a bad word. It's great. I love it. Well, good luck tomorrow, man, and um, I hope it goes well. And uh, we'll see you after the after the fight. Awesome, thank you. We're here with Ibrahim Abusali, who's going to be fighting against Q Ikasit tomorrow night. Um, tell us about your training camp, man. How's it gone so far? Yeah, man. It's been a um, it's been a long training camp. Um, we know we're going against um, tough ties. Got close to 170 fights so he's obviously more experienced than I am but we did everything we can for this training camp and we're ready to go tomorrow. Does that um, that greater experience, does that phase you in any way? What's your mental strategy for this? No, not at all man. Um, I always prefer fighting someone with more experience. Um, it brings out the best in me, brings out the best in him. Um, we're both very technical so I'm keen to see how that's going to play out tomorrow as well. And how'd the uh, weigh-in go? You meet weight alright? Yeah, Marion was fairly easy. Um, I usually fight at 58, 57, but today I was at 59. We both we both got the same exact same weight. Um, yeah, fairly easy weight cut. 
you see any flaws in his game at all? I mean, with that much experience, there's probably not many, but what's your strategy going in? You got a, have you got a game plan? Yeah, of course, man. Just um, just do my thing, you know. I'm technical, everyone knows me. I don't have that knockout power, but I'm just going to be very smart um, about tomorrow, see Fane and see what's going to happen. Yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow, man. Well, congrats on meeting Wade, and um, I'll let you get some food in here, and we'll get back and see you tomorrow night. Cheers.